Hey everyone, we just finished the Pangaea puzzle and now we want to talk about what we saw on that. We saw that the continents do drift and a few of the people that first recognized that were the map makers. Yeah, in the late 1800s, geologists uh, started to notice things. Continents might have been together at one time. There was one particular guy who thought that this was absolutely true and his name was Alfred Wegener. And so this is kind of what some of you put together on your puzzles and on your whiteboards that we had South America fitting right into Africa, we had North America meeting up with Europe and Asia. That was one idea based on the shapes of the continents. And Wegener's theory was basically this, uh, that since all the continents were joined together at one time, there was a super co continent called Pangaea, and it began drifting apart about 200 million years ago. So the first evidence we just talked about was the puzzle pieces. Other things that there were similar plants and animal fossils and also similar rock chains. So here's some pictures. Each of the periods, when it was Pangaea, then Gondwanaland, Laurasia, and you can see during each of the periods in Earth's history, we get the continents to slowly drift further and further apart. There was different types of evidence. One of the evidence was fossils, particularly a fossil uh, called Mesosaurus. He was a dinosaur that should not have been able to be on separate continents, and yet he was. And there was also a plant fossil called Glossopteris that was the same way. And it also grew in places that were a lot warmer, and the fossils are found in, say, Antarctica. So that shows you that Antarctica has drifted and moved around the surface of the planet. And this is just an image of those areas where those fossils might have been found. And climate evidence was another part. The sedimentary rocks found in different climates, they're cool deposits in Antarctica, meaning that, again, there was a swampy area and warm climates to make the conditions for coal. All those locations, some of the mountain chains found in the Appalachians also stretch all the way into Europe. Some of the same rocks are found in both locations. And that was really the thing that made the theory kind of take hold in the scientific community. Um, when you have rock structures, you can't fake those, you can't guess at those. Those are either, they either match or they don't. And when the rock structures match, it basically says that they were together at one time. Showing you here, again, the location of Antarctica and some of the other continents were much higher. They weren't down at the bottom of the earth. They were up in warmer temperate climates near the equator. Now Wegener was rejected. People did not believe all those things, all those evidence pieces we just gave you. And reasons for that, they said maybe it's just the centrifugal force of the earth spinning and the continents being pulled apart. Maybe it's the tidal drag of the moon pulling the continents westward. There were lots of different pieces of evidence that people didn't believe because what he was lacking was the mechanism. So sadly, just like this last picture, where the owner has lost his dog and drifted away, I think. So have we. So have we. So until next time. Goodbye.